So here is our I-129F petition for alien fiance. So this is our K-1 visa application packet. So when you open this up, it gives Floor's name as the beneficiary, my name as the petitioner. And at the bottom, we actually hired somebody to help us put this together, Tim Benson. And we'll get into his information here in a moment. But let's run through the packet. So the first thing we do is we have our content. Um, so you can see here in one, you got the actual petition itself. For two, you have uh, floors information for passport, birth certificate, and she already did an NBI clearance. Um, three is mine, so you got my passport and my birth certificate. Next, you have photographs together, followed by proof of ongoing relationship and meeting. And then lastly, letters of intent to marry. And then over here, we got our tabs which separate everything. So in the first thing, um, this is just the very first page of your application and it just basically has my name here at the bottom with my email address and phone number. And then we get into the petition itself. So there's 13 pages of this petition. Um, it just generally asks you for information like birth or uh, social security number. This is where your information is gonna go as far as name, first and last name, and then your address. When you go over to page two, all right, it asks for information about where you live, how long you've lived there. So I've been at my house since 2003, I'm still there. Um, then it to ask you about your work information. And I teach art. And I ask you when you started and if you're still working there or when you might have stopped. Um, next, it just asks you also more information about yourself. Once again, date of birth is there, uh, male, where you were born. Um, and then it goes into your parents. So you're going to put your parents' information here. It asks uh, information about them. And then it goes to your second parent. Um, once again, information about them and where they were born. It asks you about your citizenship, where you were born. Um, it asks you if you, it says here, a certificate of nationalization. So now we're on page four. Um, it asks you up here, have you ever filed this before, this petition? It also asks if you have any children. So if you do, you would have to fill out this information here. Um, this is about your beneficiary now. So this is where Flora would put her information and where she's living currently. So now we're on to page five. And it asks you again, um, information about her and we have the address and all that stuff written separately so they have that see page 13 that's written here a lot so as you go through it asks about her employer so currently she is self-employed she's a shoppy seller online seller so her address would be the same for that and then there's when she started doing that it also asks for previous work information, so she lists that also. She is an accountant. Um, that's her trade or her college degree, so she had put that on there as well. And then it goes to her parent information. So now we're moving on to page 11. So on page 11, this is dealing with um, the gentleman that we had hired to help us do this petition, put this whole packet together. Um, his name is Timothy Benson. Um, hopefully Floor is putting up his information right now, but his email address will be there or also be linked in the YouTube itself. Um, but this next three pages or two pages, both of these are dealing with him. Um, Tim is a, we were told as a former vet, we were actually recommended to go to him by um, a gentleman I know named Greg. And he had just gotten recently married to a Filipino named Precious and they, have, and they now live in my area. Um, and we thank them for this information, but they actually introduced us to Tim and got us the information to contact him. And Tim put this all together. He charged us $500 to put this all together. You can go out and get a lawyer. We were told a lawyer could be up to 10,000. Um, I really didn't want to spend that much. So, uh, I thought, um, Tim's price was very reasonable. Um, and Tim told us that he's been approved every single time on the first time application. So we hope, <laughs> we hope this continues in, in that way. Um, and we followed everything that he told us to do. 
All right, so now we're moving on to section two. This is Floor's information, so there's her passport. This is a photocopy of her passport. Here is her birth certificate. Once again, photocopy. And then here's her National Bureau of Investigation, the NBI. Um, we were told we didn't have to get this right away. Floor did, because um, this could be outdated and she might have to get this again. But it's basically a background check that they do in the Philippines. So Floor ended up getting that done already. And then we go to section three. So in section three, this is my passport and my birth certificate. All right, and there are photocopies, color copies at that. Now we're on the section four. And in this section, this is where you're showing your proof of meeting and you wanna show photographs. Um, Tim recommended not to put too many in, but not too little as well. So Flora and I have actually met three separate times. We got to spend a lot of time together, especially this last time. But our first meeting, if you follow us on YouTube, you know this, um, we have videos out on this, but our first meeting was back in June, June 21st. But on the very next day, we went to see a waterfall. So that was June 22nd. And then on June 23rd, um, I got to meet, well, I got a photo done with her family. I got to meet down prior to that. We had some photos done with her family. And then we actually ended up traveling to Tablas. This is where she's actually from. So here's photos at the beaches in Tablas, some of our excursions. And then here's photos with her family. Here's more photos with her family. So that was back in July of so it's July 7th, 2019. We obviously took a lot more than this, but we were only supposed to show four to six from each trip to keep this nice and short. Um, here's photos from our second time meeting, April 8th through April 19th of 2022 this year. Um, so here's photo, or photos from the hotel that we stayed in, more of where she currently lives photos. Here's with her friends, a night out. I got to meet Dexter and his girlfriend, Samantha. Um, and then we went on a trip. I took her mom back to Tablas for the first time in many years. That's us enjoying cinnamon bun. Woo, mess her up. Um, and then this is photos at the beach that we always like to stay at, Bianoco Beach. April. Also, got to get to see her family again, her Lola and Lolo. Grandfather and grandmom. All right, and then here's our third time uh, meeting. So that was June 27th through August 19th. So I got to stay a long time. And if, once again, there's our proposal. There's a photo from it, July 10th, <laughs> with cookies approval. <laughs> um, but here's some of our, you know, Tamala Falls. That was the most beautiful waterfall I've ever seen in my life down in Oslo. This is when we got to be on a TV show. Seeing her grandparents once again. Photos with her nieces and nephew and also her mom, Nanai. And then a uh, dinner that we all got to share together with her pastor's family and all her family. Um, so that was on August 18th. So there's um, just a short little photos together. All right, now we're getting to section six, or five, I'm sorry, five. So we'll get back to these first three or four pages. We'll get back to those. But here is more proof of our ongoing relationship. So here's um, just photocopies of the different flights that we took. So here's back in um, 2019, different flights that we had together. This is proof that they're gonna wanna see. Once again, more flights. So that was in Quran and Tablas. So we got to go to Palawan. Here's different hotel bookings. Once again, this is back in 2019, the Malayan Hotel. Also back in 2019, we were in Quran, the One Avenue Bay Hotel, Bianoco Beach, Tablas. And then this jumps up, just showing more proof. Um, 
here's my trip from round trip from New York to Manila. There's the dates. Hotel bookings. Once again, same hotel. We we liked it there. That was in Ortigas Business Center. More more flights. Here's my third trip there. So from the Philippines, from Philippine Airline. Here's our trip in Cebu when we took a flight to Cebu. Flight back from Cebu. Then we here's our trip to El Nido. Hotel, different hotel bookings. Once again, Ortigas Business, Business Center. We stayed at the Quest Hotel in Cebu City. There's the dates. So you want to just show a lot of proof on um, being together with that person. Um, for this is just the proof of relationship. The BSA Twin Towers, we really like it there. Barakai, oh, amazing. Amazing. By the way, Floor's still got tons of videos that she's still editing. She's really far behind because she's got a lot to do. Um, currently, she's still working on uh, Cebu. So we didn't even get any of these Brock Eye videos out. Or when we went back to El Nido, or we went to Port the Princess and all that. All right, so now we're getting to Section 6. And Section 6 is where you're going to put your letter of intent. Um, so here's my letter of intent and I chuckled because mine's one page. <laughs> Here's floors. So you got one, two, and part of a third page. Um, I was told that it's very common for the gentleman, the guy to, uh, his letter of intent is a little bit more direct and not so, not as long as the girls. The girls seem to get a lot more detailed and share a lot more. So, um, and both are fine, but I'm just going to read you mine just so you get generally an idea of some of the things that you might want to include in yours. Um, so up the top, you're going to put your name, your address, co contact information, the beneficiary's name, and then it says, to whom it may concern. I, Dennis A. Shields, am a USA citizen. I've never been married, nor do I have any kids. I'm writing this letter to grant approval to marry my fiance, Flora, or Florida Lisa, um, through the approval of the K-1 visa. Flora and I met through a social site called Christian Filipina in March 2019. Shortly after talking through the site, we decided to move our conversations to an app, and I put in our parenthesis there, WhatsApp, which is also, which also allowed us to do video chats. We talk many times every day using this app, and about four months after chatting, I ended up going to the Philippines in June 2021 of two, or June 21, 2019, to meet her, her family, and friends for the first time. We had a great time getting to know each other and exploring the Philippines, especially where she grew up. During the next two years and 10 months, we continued to talk through the WhatsApp. During that time, I planned two trips to go see her, but unfortunately, I had to cancel both trips due to the world pandemic. The Philippine borders were actually closed. Finally, in 2000, or I'm sorry, finally in April 2023, I was able to go back to the Philippines and spend more time getting to know her. On our trip to the Philippines, I was able to stay for 11 days with her family and friends. Then, two and a half months later, I was able to return to the Philippines for seven weeks. Throughout the three plus years that we've known each other, our love has grown, our love grew. We were constantly talking about getting married. We were, con yeah, we were consistently talking about getting married someday. And then on June or on Sunday, July 10th, 2023, I proposed to her in front of her family and her church friends. And of course she said yes. Now I'm back in America. We are in our long distance relationship again, hoping to close the gap forever. Once Floor's K-1 visa is approved, she will move to the United States and will be able to get married within the 90 days of her arrival. We are both excited and looking forward to that day, as well as building our life together. So I'm, I'm available through email, and I have my email, I have my phone number to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you for your time and consideration. So like I said, that was mine. Flores has a lot more detailed information about our ongoing relationship, as you can tell. So that was our packet. Now I'm going to flip back. So in section five, I said that we happened to skip over something. 
And there's an additional letter that we did.